Kentucky Fairgrounds with monster trucks serving up their own brand of off-roading, riding right over traffic. It's an all-out shootout on a sea of destruction coming up next. This is Trucks and Tractor Power, featuring the superstars of the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Nationals Monster Truck Challenge. Welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power on the Nashville Network. Today we're at the Racine County Fairgrounds in Union Grove, Wisconsin for the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Northern Nationals. Hi everybody, I'm Gary Lee alongside Army Armstrong and Army. Not a whole lot of competition space out there. No, I tell you, there's not a lot of space at all out there. I'm kind of worried about this track. You don't have any room at all for left-right air. You get out of a lane, you're in trouble. And the shutdown area is basically non-existent. To be very honest, I'm basically spooked about this track and racing on it today, Gary. Well, we'll see how these guys can handle the small competition area as we return to the Dairy State. The four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Northern Nationals. We're in Union Grove, Wisconsin. A look at Andy Brass in Big Foot 8 out of St. Louis. He is the second fastest qualifier here this afternoon. Top honors going to Fred Schaefer in barefoot. A good crowd on hand, but Army, there is a look at the very short shutdown area. Well, that area has got everybody literally standing in the corner scratching their head. They don't know how they're going to get these rascals shut down today, Gary. Round one, Barefoot the fast qualifier against Snake Bite. Then it's number five qualifier, Micro Machine, and number 11, Bad Medicine. We also have number three, Taurus, Jack Wilman Sr. against John Moore's No Problem, the Carolina Crusher, and Nightmare. Also in round one, the sixth fastest qualifier, Black Stallion against Tropical Thunder, and Bigfoot 8 will take on Scott Stevens' King Crunch. Gary, one of the big stories here is the pairing of King Crunch and the Bigfoot truck. Scott Stevens is trying to get a monkey off his back. He's been on his head a whole lot this year. So we're gonna have to be watching him. But right now, all eyes on the new truck, the snake bite. And speaking of eyes on, look what happened earlier today. This was in qualifying. He's against the clock right now, and he gets in trouble off that second jump, the second set of cars, but Thru watch him power out. Throttle up, pulls it out. But right oh. here, he has no room to power okay. out. He that, can't use the throttle, and look what happened. That's the short area we're talking about. If he, had, if he had had 20 more feet before the pole, look right in the middle of the truck, there's a big pole there. He just had to just roll with it. Speaking of rolling, this guy is on a roll. If you like Chevrolet, you got to know and love Fred Schaefer. Well, Fred Schaefer is the fast qualifier, which means he gets lane choice. These drivers do not like the lane that Snake Fight is running in right now. And it's all Fred Schaefer, oh. Army. What a clean run. Oh, here we go again. Snake Bite's in trouble through the Hydra barrier. And oh, look at that. Is again. anybody in the building? The storage building at the end of the track. Gary, he completely demolished it. Literally ran through it. Look. Well, there's a chest freezer that he's on top. And of course, the fans are on their on their feet right now, showing a concern as the safety crew members are over there, one checking on the driver and making sure no one was inside that storage unit. Let's watch again. Let's see where he gets in trouble. Once again, a short shutdown area. Short shutdown area. The problem comes at the end of the run with the back of the truck. I want you to notice when he lands down, he'll basically what we call spring the back up. See, now he's on the nose. The back comes down. Notice the rear wheel's turning. He is just along for the run. I wonder why they didn't hit the kill box to shut him off though. He goes right through the hydro barriers. They basically would have done their job had the truck not been under a throttle up condition, Gary. Well, we are being told now that there, there was no one in that storage area. No one uh, injured. The driver is okay. Colt Cobra a bit stunned, we are being told. Now he climbs out and uh, you can see how slowly he comes out. At this point, any driver in motorsports starts to collect his thoughts, exactly. starts to clear the cobwebs out of the head to assess the damage and try to go back and reassess what happened. Well, he's coming out. First thing he did was look at the GTS fiberglass body to make sure it's okay. It's amazing. It was not torn up that much, but that truck really had an impact. That freezer must weigh about 2,000 pounds, and it just leaked right on top of it. We are happy again to report no one was in that storage area. Colt is all right. He's made his way down to Army. Colt, the rule of thumb in a sport, and we've always talked about it in the past, you get in trouble, you throttle up, and it pulls you out of trouble. Not the case today. Uh, you know, Army, this left lane, it's, uh, it's a pretty rough lane. The right lane, we a lot of guys qualified in. It was a lot faster lane. I, uh, I drove that barefoot truck. I knew I was going to have to run hard and run fast. Uh, 
kind of throw me off to one side there and I was, the back end sprung up on me. I was powering out of it. I was kind of looking for the, uh, the remote control guy to be killing me and uh, it never came around. And next thing I know, I was sitting in the barn down there. So, uh, you know, it's one of them freak accidents that happen. This is a pretty short track here. Um, you got to be all you have all your P's and Q's together when you're running out here. And, you know, these boys are making it tough on me, but uh, I'm going to keep struggling along here and I'm going to be back. I can guarantee it. An altercation like this can certainly temper the enthusiasm once the race begins. It underscores the concern these drivers have for this short runoff area. There are the Hydra barriers. Those are plastic units filled with water. They probably would have done the job had the kill switch been activated in the truck. The drivers are concerned. Army, some comments from you. Gary, there's a lot of drama building down here at Union Grove. The left lane seems to be the point of, of concern right now. You look over our shoulder, you can tell that the track crew is having a meeting with the drivers. They're trying to figure out exactly what they can do. We're going to run the race. There's going to be a left and a right lane, but they got to figure out what they're going to do to make these lanes equal. Snakebite says no way the left lane is not the way to go. Of course, the fast qualifier in each run would have lane choice. He would take that driver's side right lane as we look at the snake bite, the truck setting on top of the debris as Colt Cobra walks away. More coming up from Union Grove. <laughs> 